Hey everybody, my name is OP, Artist Relations Manager for Serato, and I'm here at Sweetwater today to show you the new Pioneer DDJ SX3 controller, which works with Serato DJ Pro. So a lot of you have used the Pioneer DDJ SX2 controller for many of your mobile gigs, your weddings, corporate gigs, and even club events. Now Pioneer has upped the game up with the SX3, adding some new features that work really, really well with Serato DJ Pro. First, we're going to talk about Serato DJ Pro, some new updates and features that have been added to the program, which are going to be really great for you for both organizing and also for playing as well. So let's start there first. The first thing is Serato DJ Pro has a new mode called practice mode. When you are offline, meaning that you're disconnected from the computer with USB, you will now have two decks that are available to you. And these two decks basically are practice mode. You can load in a track for the top deck or the left deck and the bottom deck or the right deck and be able to play them by using the controls on the keyboard. If I press the space button, I can get the first track playing. If I press the return button, I can also get the second track playing. I can also do that by using the letters W for the left deck or the top deck and also the letter S for the bottom deck or the right deck. So practice mode is really great. Reason being why is this. Sometimes you don't want to be connected to your hardware and still want to practice some ideas for mixes. Uh, you could be at home watching the game on your couch and have your computer with you. You might be on a train or a plane going to your next gig and might not have hardware to be able to connect to right away or don't want to connect to it. So in that case, you can use practice mode. Practice mode comes with a crossfader, volume faders, gain adjustment, and also all of the features that you would find inside of Serato DJ Pro that you use on a regular basis, like cue points, loops. Uh, if you have the expansion pack for Flip or Serato Video, you can do all those things inside of practice mode as well. Uh, for myself, it's been a really great tool. Uh, before I get to a gig, I could be in a cab in New York City going to the next venue, and as I'm in the cab, I can listen to a few songs, match them up, see if they work well, and if they do, then I can put them into a crate and then use them in the performance at the club later on that night. So just a kind of quick walkthrough of how it works. I can have my cue points that I can trigger on the keyboard, which are really great. And as I'm playing a track and I want to intro another track in, I can do so. And if they're off from each other, I can use the sync button to sync both of those tracks together to make them work and then use the crossfader to listen to one side or the other or have them both playing at the same time and mix. Or if I want to adjust the BPM, I can click on the BPM and either pull down or up with the mouse to be able to change the BPM. So again, it's a really, really great feature for you to be able to use to kind of get organized as you're getting ready to do your next gig. So practice mode is a really, really great tool. Other things that have been added to Serato DJ Pro is that now it's 64-bit. Previous versions of Serato were running at 32, and now this is at 64. So if you're on a new computer, an i5, an i7, a computer with a new processor in it, it's going to be able to take the power of the computer and make it run really, really strong with Serato DJ Pro. And also, for large libraries, your library will load up much faster now because of the 64-bit compatibility here. So it's a really, really great feature. We've also added in the performance pad queue layout. So this is really great. In previous versions of Serato DJ, you would have uh, basically your cue points going down in a row. Now we've added it to make it look like you have it on the controller. So you have them going across just as you would inside of the screen. So visually what you're seeing here is showing up on the screen and vice versa. It makes things much easier to be able to plan out and then actually execute while you're DJing. Really, really great option there. Um, you also have the ability under the library and display and the setup is to go turn on high res screen display. When you turn this on, it will ask you uh, if you want to do it and tell you that uh, you'll be going into that mode. And this now basically is able to harness the power of a retina screen or a UHD screen. So everything comes out really, really crisp and vibrant. Uh, if you scale the screen, make it larger or smaller, uh, the actual text inside the screen will stay the same. You won't see any pixelation that happens. So again, using that high-res display uh, there for that is a really, really great thing, especially when you're in a dark club and you're looking at your computer for a number of hours. Your eyes are able to focus a bit more because things are so clear on the screen. So now that we've talked about some of the new things that have been added on for Serato DJ Pro, let's plug it up to the SX3 and talk about some of the features on the mixer. So I'm going to plug in the USB here just now. Serato will pop up. 
Excellent, good. So you can see with Serato DJ Pro, the look is now a bit more refined. It's a bit more clearer um, and much easier to be able to see and use while you're doing your DJ performance. The SX3 is a great controller, a great update from the SX2 and adds on to the range of controllers that are meant to work for Serato from Pioneer. This controller has a bunch of stuff on it. Four channels that are available to you to be able to play either two channels or four channels inside of Serato DJ Pro. Each of those channels has trim, EQ with isolator uh, options to them. It also has a sound coloring effect section, which is a new thing for the SX3. Previous, this was just the filter by itself. With the sound coloring effects, you have the option of echo, jet, noise, and filter. So you have the same things that you would find on a higher priced Pioneer mixer in a club on a controller here, which is really great. Uh, you also have your option for your booth monitoring and also a knob for your volume for your sampler, which we'll get into in a little bit later. Uh, the performance platters on here are really, really great and solid. They're super responsive. They feel really great. Um, and they really work well in both light and dark situations, uh, being able to see everything that's happening here. Uh, we have our performance pad section for your hot cues, your cue loops, your rolls, your save loops, slicer, slicer loop, sampler, and pitch play. A lot of great options here for you to do some performance stuff with your pads on the SX3. One of the really, really great features about the SX3, which I love a lot, is that this now has two USBs for you to plug in a second computer. So here I have one computer, but if my partner, uh, DJ partner were with me, he could plug in his computer to the side of me, and I would be on USB A, he would be on USB B. As I'm playing a song on my computer, and he wanted to play the next song, the only thing he would need to do is switch over to USB B, and now my computer would say that his computer is taking over because mine says in use, his would be running and we'd be basically swapping songs back and forth, right? So this is really great. Club DJs, if you bring this controller to a club and you have to swap out, you don't have to stop the music, get on the mic and talk and try to hold the crowd over while the next DJ plugs up. The only thing you have to do is plug in the second USB and their computer's already set and you switch over and now you're going back and forth very easily. Great, great feature on this controller. Also, with that control, you have the option to be able to scroll between both of the libraries directly from the controller. So here we have library for A. So now that it's set to A on my controller, I can scroll through a bunch of different songs. But if I set it to B and I scroll this here, I don't have option to scroll on my computer, but if there was a second computer here, that person could scroll through, find their song, load it up, and start to play as well. So again, the option to be able to have both two computers and then also be able to control both of them directly from the controller is really, really great. For you mobile DJs, this is a really, really great feature. On the back of the controller, we have a multi-jack input for a mic. We also have an XLR input for the mic. But in front of me, which you don't see, is another quarter inch input for another mic. So there are three mic options here uh, for this controller. Why is this great? If you're, let's say, doing a wedding or you're doing a corporate event, you could have two wireless mics or wired mics, depending on what you want to do, connected here and control the volume for those going out to the audience. While if you need to make announcements, you don't have to grab a mic back from somebody. You can do that directly from having your mic plugged in here and control the volume right from the front of the controller. This is a really, really, really great option. Now, I do a bunch of club stuff, but I also do a bunch of corporate events as well. And having this option on this controller allows me now to be able to talk to the audience as I need to while other people have mics out in the field interacting with the audience either during a performance or during a speech. Really great feature added onto the SX3 uh, and you'll use it uh, on a regular basis. Another great feature for the controller is pitch and time DJ. Now on the controller there's a section here that allows you to be able to manipulate the key of the track that you're playing. You can go up in key or down in key or you can key sync two tracks together. So let's walk through an example of that just doing the up and down of the key. Playing this track here, I can go up in key, or I can go down in key. And if I want to play another song that's in a different key, then I can have both of those songs harmonically mixed well together by key syncing them together.
So I have two tracks that are here. I've manipulated the tempo of one to make it match to the other by moving the tempo adjust uh, fader, or I could have used sync to make the BPMs match up together. Now I'm going to use key sync to make these two harmonically work well together. So I'm gonna play this song here. And now I'm going to press shift and the up key. And now harmonically these two songs are gonna match and be good together. And now they sound good together. And I'll do a little filtering. So they're a clean example of how the key syncing works on the SX3 controller. So another great feature using Pitch and Time DJ is pitch play. So I'm going to go to shift here and press sampler. And there it'll get me into pitch play mode. Now with pitch play, I can take one cue point on the track and now I can transpose it up and down by key to do some interesting kind of tricks and effects. <laughs> So there, I was able to manipulate the key of the cue point by pressing the pads to be able to move up and down by semitones. So I'm triggering that same cue point over again, but it's moving the key as I'm triggering it, which is a really cool feature. Again, this controller comes with a lot, a lot of great options that you can use for your performances, whether they be in a club, a corporate event, a wedding, uh, your backyard barbecue, whatever the case may be. This is a strong, strong professional controller at a great, great price point that you can use for all of your gigs across the board along with Serato DJ Pro. This is the Pioneer DDJ SX3 controller. Incredible controller that comes with and works with Serato DJ Pro. Make sure you talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer about pricing for this and grab one for yourself now.